All right, guys, Shelly has got me motivated, and it is time to finally clean this thing out once and for all, and we're going to make this happen right now. So, of course, today, Shelly's the cameraman. Shelly, come with me, and let's take a look at what we've got. So, she's got, it, this is all her. She's the one motivating me. I've started chopping these guys down. You remember, I hurt myself last year, so I couldn't do all this, but we got all this tall, lanky growth in here, some flower buds on them, but some not. Anyway, we're getting it cleaned up. A lot of these guys are root bound and so i want to take you over and show you what i do with these root bound plants you can see right now come on buddy see all those roots in there they have just been in that pot too long i should have up potted them or sold them last year but because of the injury i didn't get a lot done in here now i've pruned all these anna rose whitney rhododendrons back and you can see the mess that we've got right here tons i mean these were, i could have done hundreds of cuttings of these guys but you know that's life. So anyway, we got all this mess. We've pruned them back. I'm going to fertilize and all that good stuff. But first we're going to pot them up and then we'll take care of them from there. But I want to show you real quick what we do with these rhododendrons when they're root bound. All right, so first before we head out there, I want to show you these guys. This is Exbury Call Stalker. It's a tree-like rhododendron, and they're in two-gallon pots right now, but they're root-bound. These guys should have been dealt with last year, but, of course, because of the injury, that didn't happen. But now, Shelly's motivating me to do something about it, and here's what she's been doing already. So we've got these Exbury Call Stalker over here. Beautiful tree-like guys, and now they're in much bigger pots. She's pot them up to five-gallon pots. I'll get them fertilized, and these guys are going to grow into beautiful tree-like rhododendrons. I love these big leaves, and they get even bigger when they're planted out in the wild. All right, so we're out at my pile of bark, and we've got the two-gallon here. This is the size difference in the two, the five-gallon versus the two-gallon. You can see that tag just broke off. I'm going to make a new tag already, but let's get this guy out of here real quick and see what we got. So you can see how packed in these roots are. And they're just, I mean, there's just way too much root. So here's what I do, guys. I just take my pruners, and a lot of you might even already know this, but it's a pretty sharp edge right here. And I just run it right down in several places all the way around. And that's all it takes because then new roots are going to grow out from all around where that area was where it cut. They'll come out from all over here, but that just breaks the cycle of the roots going around the pot and encircling it and then strangling the plant. And then I go down the bottom and slice like that, and that'll help quite a bit too. All right, so I even do that when I'm planting these guys out in the landscape. So I'm going to grab my five-gallon pot right here. And we just grab some bark, and yes, I need a whole bunch more bark for this season coming up. Because we've got a lot of things to pot up. And I try to get these, a little much in there. I try to get these to where there may be, boy, Mike, you really overdone it, buddy. Just an inch or so below the surface of the pot here. And then we can go ahead and fill it in with all of our potting soil here. And by potting this guy an inch below, something like that, kind of pack this down, we end up with the bark being able to cover the top of those roots and keep them moist and cool through the summer. And then also leave, try to leave, about a half inch of space around the inside of the pot here so that when I fertilize and I do my weed preventive measures and then I water, it doesn't all spill over the sides of the pot. But there you go, much nicer pot, much bigger setup for those roots. They're gonna be able to just grow out like crazy now and this tree like rhododendron is gonna explode with growth. This thing may be up this high by the end of next year. All right, so Allie just got out of school. What are you helping with? Sweeping the hoop house. Cool, what else did you do here? I wrote tags. Cool. You got some labels going for mom? Yeah. Awesome, dude. Whoa. And there's mom the workhorse potting up all the roadies. E-Monster's holding down the trampoline. The chickens are chickening. And Ruger's holding down the fort. 
All right, so that is basically it, guys. So I've got this all ready to go in its nice little home here. And the last thing you want to do is label this guy so you always know exactly what you've got. So it's in a beautiful new home, plenty of more room for those roots to grow. I'm going to fertilize it and water it, and this guy will be up really nice and beautiful by the end of next summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, got something out of it. I am so excited for spring to come. I hope you guys are too. I'm also so excited to just start turning this into a retail nursery. I don't know how long that's gonna be. Some of you guys are already asking, but we're gonna get there eventually. I'm gonna let all you guys know when that happens. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna follow along in the journey. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.